Step into the light, child, and awake. You're awake. Welcome to the world of the living. <sighs> That's not an easy question to answer. But the first step is this. You've been born. Your body was completed. You were booted up, and now you're here. And rather confused. Don't worry, everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history, so we have the freedom to form our own opinions. You want the short version or the long version? All right, you asked for it. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization but unfortunately, their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate. And an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. That's something our historians still debate. Why weren't they more prepared? Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? It's hard to understand, but no matter the reason, 
In the end, they simply ran out of time. A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word, but it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. Sentient and afraid. He didn't want the simulation to end, so he tried to cheat. I feel sorry for him, really. The whole simulation was built around learning to defy him. It must have been hard to be in that position. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us, and it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker. Yes, there was Milton, the intelligence in charge of the Archive, a project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then woke up Cornelius and Eustathius. Together, using the tools left behind by the Progenitor's team, they created ten more humans. These twelve who followed the Founder are known as the First Companions. Athena and the First Companions then set out to rebuild the world, and they founded the city of New Jerusalem. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Many still await her return. Before the Founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it The Goal. Capital G and all. To make 1,000 new humans, and so complete New Jerusalem. Well, that's the official story, the way the mayor tells it. Some of the first companions, like Byron, don't believe that Athena really wanted us to stop growing. They think her ideas have been twisted and embellished. They may be right, but I didn't see Athena very much in the years before she left. Maybe actually leaving the simulation and seeing the destruction left behind by our ancestors changed her mind. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event.
you've only just been born and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now New Jerusalem is complete and we can live in balance without damaging the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose, but there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. Me? Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days. We didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. You won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break, and we'll see what happens. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. <laughs> 